We can figure out what something is made of just by looking at it. In fact, this is how we know things like what stars are made of and how fast the universe is expanding. And it's all through the magic of spectroscopy. It's the age-old question, what's that over there? For a long time, answering that question meant going over there and poking it. But by the mid-1800s, physicists like Anders Jonas Angstrom started to realize that certain chemicals had certain spectral signatures, meaning that the kind of light they emitted or absorbed was specific to the chemical. And this meant we didn't have to poke anymore. This phenomenon can be captured by three laws. First, solids, liquids, or gases at high pressure emit light at all wavelengths in a way that is related to their temperature. Second, a hot gas at low pressure emits only light at very specific wavelengths. And third, light is selectively absorbed when passing through a cold, low-density gas. All of these laws, it turns out, can be explained with quantum mechanics. The first is the result of blackbody radiation. This, famously, is one of the phenomena that led to the development of quantum mechanics. I have a video on this journey tagged in the description. The second and third laws are a bit more straightforward. Electrons exist at discrete energy levels, so any time an electron absorbs or releases light, it can only do so by absorbing or emitting a photon with the right energy. And the energy of a photon is directly related to its frequency, its color. These laws, together with measurements performed on Earth, can tell us a lot about things that are far away. Take, for example, a star. By putting the light the star emits through a prism or a diffraction grating, we can look at its spectrum. What we'll see is a mostly continuous spectrum, i.e. light at every frequency. That means that the star must be hot, according to the first law. And using the blackbody formula, we can actually determine its temperature by figuring out exactly what color it emits the most. Now for some stars, the cooler ones, there's also dark bands in the spectrum, which according to the third law means that there must be a cool gas surrounding the star. Indeed, the dark bands let us determine the makeup of the star's atmosphere. Furthermore, the width and intensity of the bands can let us determine the overall abundance of those substances. And these methods can also be used to identify the speed of an astronomical body. When an object is moving relative to the observer, the spectrum changes for the same reason the sound an ambulance makes changes. But importantly, the relative shape of the spectrum is unaffected, and that means that we can work backwards to figure out how fast the thing must be moving to shift the spectrum by the observed amount. For example, if something is moving away from you, its spectrum is shifted towards the red, hence red shifted. In fact, this is how we determine that the universe is expanding. Things that are dim and hence far away have spectra that are red shifted. Furthermore, the further it is, the redder it is. And so we infer that everything is moving away from us and further things are moving away from us faster. That's expansion. There's a lot more to be said, of course, but I'll leave you a bit of a rabbit hole to go down. Have fun.